Hey, my name is Jay Weinberg. I play drums in the band Slipknot, and today I'm here to give you my rig rundown. Today I'm here to give you guys a little bit of a rig rundown of uh, the kit that we're using on our 2022 North American Knotfest Roadshow. Uh, so this is a brand new drum set from SJC Custom Drums. I'm so thrilled with it. I'm gonna walk you through what we got going on. First, to go over the dimensions of what we got going on. This is a 22 by 14 inch kick drum. Both of them are. I liked them. To, I like them a little bit shallower. It was something that I started experimenting with a couple years ago. Um, basically, Mike from SJC and I were talking like. What would it be like to create a drum set like if Ringo Starr was playing drums for Slipknot? That's kind of the, the jumping off point we had. And part of it was the shallower kick drums. Not only do they look rad, but I think sonically it's interesting when you have all that, you know, that compressed air in this, you know, shallower of a drum. It's a little bit easier to manipulate out front. It's a little bit easier to manipulate in my ears. Uh, the way you can really control the low and the high end and have a really nice blend where it's, you know, you don't want it to be overly boomy just because of how fast and intense our music is. Um, it's nice to have that little bit of a shallower depth, which is awesome. Um, moving to the toms, we have a, let me check the dimensions here, a 7x10, an 8x12, and an 8x13 maple shell. Uh, and these all have reinforcement rings. I believe they're five ply with seven ply reinforcement rings. Seven or ten, <laughs> I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, these things sing, they're incredible. I'm, I'm really, really happy with them. And we have a 16 by 16 floor tom and a, and a uh, 16 by 18 floor tom. Uh, 18 by 16, whatever, whatever that is. A 16 inch floor tom and an 18 inch floor tom. Uh, it's super, super boomy, and everything just has a really nice kind of tuning range and, and, and sits really nice together, especially with the Evans G2 uh, clear tom heads. It's, I'm incredibly happy with uh, the way they sound. And uh, something that we started experimenting with a couple years ago, we started miking my drums from the inside, um, which allows not only a little bit more mobility on the cymbals where I don't have to worry about this cymbal smashing onto a microphone here or really just working, you know, not only physically bashing it, but um, but getting cymbal bleed in, uh, in those mics. So what we're able to do is mic everything internally and externally here so we get a good blend there just because there's not much cymbal stuff happening here. But uh, this allows us to get a really clean, defined, bombastic tone out of the toms without worrying about cymbal bleed and stuff like that. So they can really have a field day with it in front of house and not worrying about like too many shrill, um, you know, noises from from cymbals and stuff. When you're really trying to mix this tom, they have this cymbal so close to it, they can kind of blend into each other. So having that separation of miking things internally uh, really does help. Moving on, we've got my new SJC signature snare drum, the Crucible, uh, which is an awesome brass drum uh, that's a little bit different from what we've done before. Uh, I've often used my signature 48 ply snare drum, which is right over here. And you can see on the bottom there how many plies of maple that really is. It's kind of like carving an oak tree or something. Maple tree, I should say. Uh, so we've usually used that. Today at practice we're going to throw up the Crucible. And uh, I like this, this one because it's more reflective of the snares that I have used in the studio on Slipknot recordings and stuff. Uh, I use a lot of metal snares when we're recording in the studio and this one sits awesome in the mix. Total pleasure to design and come up with uh, this idea with SJC Custom Drums. And same with all this stuff, you know. Um, it's awesome to have the opportunity to uh, do all the artwork on my own drums. So it's one thing with SJC that I've always really appreciated is their ability to you know, take whatever idea I have in my head and I know that they'll take care of the actual manufacturing and stuff. As long as we can make it look rad, they'll take care of it sounding awesome. And I'm super, super appreciative and thankful um, for not only our relationship, but what they can actually physically do 
it's amazing. Moving on to the symbols that we've got going on here. Uh, a lot of the labels have worn off, so actually I'm not sure what some of these are. But I know this is a, a pair of 14 inch uh, A Custom Hi-Hats. This I believe is an 8 inch Rezo Splash. Here is an eight in, 18 inch uh, Ultra Hammered China symbol, which I have mirrored over here. Same thing with my 20 inch A Custom Crashes. So yep. you've got the Rezo Splash here, the Hybrid Splash here, the Oriental China, which is awesome. It's kind of like a flash symbol. You know, it's not as long lasting of a decay as the Ultra Hammered. But having this one is really, really rad. Just kind of a little splash of sound. Every, you know, no pun intended. Uh, a Zildjian EFX bell. Like I said, another 20 inch A Custom Crash. This is one of my favorite symbols pretty much of all time. Uh, this 22 inch S Rock Ride has been on every tour and, uh, we've done since 2019, possibly even earlier, and for sure the last two Slipknot records. Um, so I love this symbol. It's a total beast. It gets that really defined ping, and I can smash on it with the shoulder of my stick, but it's very defined with the, the barrel tip of my stick, which actually we can talk about. Uh, these are my signature 908 Vader drumsticks. Um, that I had a blast designing with Vader. Um, we chose this stick, you know, we went through a bunch of different, you know, lengths and tapers and stuff, and this is exactly what feels like home in my hand. Um, it's a relatively quick taper and a, a barrel tip with a little bit more length than you might be used to, of like a 5V or something like that. And I love this barrel tip, and it really, in conjunction, I kind of mainly wanted to understand the relationship that this stick would kind of create between the ride symbol and my snare especially because we have a lot of fast blast beat stuff that you need that definition and this s rock ride with these snares it's a you know a, a perfect combination especially with the 908 stick it really um helps me find the sound that i'm looking for we've got a pair of 13 inch a custom hi-hats and a 22 inch Crash of Doom. Um, very, very doomy. Big open down beats. I often love to karate chop it all the way over here. Um, this kit has all DW pedals and hardware, a giant rack system, as you can see, DW9000 uh, single pedals, and a DW9000 hi hat. What else we got here? Vader drink holders for getting thirsty. Uh, Vader stick cups for when a stick might go flying out of my hand. I'm covered over here if I'm over here. Or if I'm playing over here, I can grab one from over here. What else we got? Tons of GoPros that will be mounted throughout the performance. Always making some clips from our shows and, uh, and oftentimes it helps me kind of remove myself from, you know, the intensity of what we're doing. I can study that as a way, you know, any kind of person would film themselves playing basketball or hockey or something like that and you get to learn about how you're playing the instrument how you're playing the show and what you want to do differently and stuff like that so it's often really fun to film our stuff with GoPros and um, that's about it this is my rig this has been my rig rundown I hope you enjoyed and I hope we'll see you on tour sometime soon